All right, so those would then lead to uh, a set of uh, things like having well-developed and effective management systems, which include some simple things that you probably are reasonably familiar with, like visible security policy, uh, code of conduct, clear roles and responsibilities. Let's pause on that one for a second. That in any organization, in order to be able to maintain good culture, we need to have clear, well-defined roles and responsibilities. Some of the places where uh, poor culture arises is when you see conflicts between individuals because of an overlapping response, set of responsibilities. It's difficult when two people have overlapping responsibility for the same thing. They tend to end up in conflict over that, and that can create an internal cultural divide. Um, also, of course, things like performance measures, good working environment, training and qualification, which we talked about earlier, uh, work management, information control, and then material counting systems. Let's pause on that one for a second as well. Oftentimes, we think about security systems as being the physical security system for a facility. And we talk about, oh, good security culture includes pointing out the delay systems, the doors, and the detectors. The material accounting practices are also part of that. That if I have good material accounting practices where I'm keeping track of the material within my system, then that basic behavior plays a role in all other things that go on at the facility. So by don't going through that and doing proper procedures there, I'm going to do proper procedures elsewhere as well. Obviously, cyber protection is related to that also. All of us have a role in cyber protection within our facilities because we all log into computers every day. We all click on email messages, those sorts of things. Good behaviors associated with cyber protection can actually uh, uh, chain react into, poor use of words here, uh, into good behaviors in other areas. Um, Staff screening, quality assurance, uh, change management, uh, where we, we alter the, ma the management structure periodically. And then operating experience feedback. So as an operator goes through and manages a facility and operates that facility, they're going to gain experience through that. And they're going to use that experience in their, da their daily lives and their job. An important part of that is to provide that feedback to others. And oftentimes, you've probably seen this as well, where People don't do that. They use that experience for their job function, but they don't provide that experience out to others. And then by providing that out to others, they're saying not just I, I'm important to this organization, but we're all important to this organization. And that's part of the overall security culture, that we're not doing this just because of my security. We're doing this because I value all the employees at this facility. I value the facility. I value the organization, and I value the state. And I need to get all of those to be secure.